Hey, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how these alphabet letter banks go together. They all go together exactly the same way and I'm going to use my favorite letter, the letter M. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street right now. So here's how they all go together. They've all got five layers and they could have more than five and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But starting from the top, you've got this front layer here and if you're painting your project, you're going to paint this layer and the very back layer. You don't need to paint the inside layers because they're going to get covered up. So this is the front layer, and it's the one that's complete. It doesn't have any gaps or anything like that in it. Set that off to the side here. The next one down is your clear acrylic. And uh, this one also uh, is just the outline there. That's how that one works. Then you've got the, what I call the spacers. And I've got, got two here on this one. And I want to stop and talk about this one for just a second. The, the design comes with two spacers. And that, uh, depending on what material you use, that will give you about 0.4 in terms of 0.4 inches in terms of depth. And uh, that may work really well, especially if you're just using coins. However, if you're going to put things like paper money in there, you might want to make this a little deeper, which means in that case, you might want to cut one or even two more layers here to make this thicker so that things like paper money fall down easily and come out easily. But right now, I've just got two on this one. And then of course there's the top of the M there. And then you got the back piece, which is the solid, the solid piece again. And then the, of course the, the final piece, I said five pieces, the final piece is actually the base and it goes on just like this. Really easy in that case. Let me think of any other uh, tips I have for you. Uh, some of the letters, uh, because of the shape of them, some of them have two holes in the top where you can put money in. Uh, because that way it's more fun for the kid or whomever to be able to get money down in both sides. Uh, so just bear that in mind. All of these holes are a minimum of two inches wide and some of them are a little bit wider. That way if you decide you want to, depending on what you put down there, uh, it's big enough for that. I use uh, glue for all these layers here. I use Loctite Geo, you know what? I don't know if it's Geo 2 or G02, but it's, I'll put that link in the description as well. That's what I use there. Uh, one other tip is I spray paint um, the top the top piece, which is this one, and the bottom piece, uh, and let those dry and cure. And then I uh, mask them and cut them after I've done that. It, it makes for a really clean, finished look. And then I don't do anything with these middle pieces because they're not going to be seen anyway. It doesn't really matter uh, what you do with those. I just leave them uh, raw MDF and that works really well. So that's how that all goes together. Um, yeah, I think that probably covers it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to see what you finish because I think they're gonna be a lot of fun to use. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.